In this video, I'll show you how to make an e-commerce online store website using one of my favorite website builders, Wix. This is gonna be a step-by-step -step tutorial. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to make a really great looking online store. So let's get started. All right, so if you guys click on the link down below in the description, it's going to take you to this exact page on Wix and we're gonna go ahead and create our free account. After I enter in my email, I'll click start now. We'll click continue with email, but you guys can of course actually create your account with Google or Facebook or Apple. But I'll click continue with email and then we'll click sign up. So it's gonna ask me a bunch of questions and you guys can go ahead and go through this questionnaire as it's gonna help you determine uh, what functionality you're gonna have for your website or you can always click skip right here. But I'll go ahead and continue with this thing. We'll select online store, continue. We'll select the template. One of the great things about Wix is that they have a lot of really great looking templates. So I recommend you guys just go look through these templates, see which one matches your brand. And so for example, I'm looking at this and I like this one. We can click continue with this template. This is fully changeable. You guys can change this later on. As you guys can see, we can customize this. I'll choose retro vibrant and we'll click save and continue. We can choose to add different apps to our site. So this really depends on what functionality you need. Choose accordingly and then we'll click go to dashboard. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is click on design site. And this is gonna take us to the Wix website editor. You guys might be a little bit overwhelmed at first, but it's super easy to use. It's one of the easiest drag and drop editors I've ever used. And yeah, I'll show you guys in just a few moments how to use this editor. Over here on the left, we have a bunch of different tools so we can add different elements to our websites. We can add different sections, which I'll show you. You guys can create and add new pages. We can change our navigational menu. We can change the overall site design, add third-party apps, manage your store, manage your media, as well as manage the content. So basically what I'm gonna do here is click on this. And the first thing I want you guys to know is that there is the header up here and there is the footer down here. So these two things are gonna stay constant throughout your whole website, no matter what page you're on. So if I make any edits to the footer or to the header, that's going to show up on all the different pages. If there's any text that you guys wanna change, for example, in this main hero image right here, what we can do is double click on this and we can easily just change up the text, right? So we can change the size, we can change the font, we can make it bold, italics, we can change the formatting, add effects if we want, change the spacing. So let's say we want the character spacing to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, this whole editor is super easy to use. I recommend just look through it. It's very intuitive. We'll show you guys how to do it in this video, but there's gonna be a lot of things that we can't cover just due to time. And yeah, as far as the button right here, what we can do is click on this. We can change the text. So we can say shot now. We can change where this button actually goes to. So if we click on this, we'll be able to select from the different pages on our website. These have all been pre-made that come with this template. So we can choose any of these. For this one, shop does make sense. So we'll click done. We can also change the layout of this button. We can change the design, the animation. And yeah, let's say we want to change the design. You guys can see there's a bunch of different button types over here. We can have it be square. We can have it be rounded. We have different colors. These are the buttons that come with the theme. So that's what I recommend using since it will match with some of the other elements. So let's say we want to use this one. We can customize this even further with like the fill, the borders, all this stuff, but I'm just gonna leave that for now. You guys will wanna make sure that all of your important text and information is within this border and this border. So for different browsers with different sizes and things like that, this is what is always going to show. And this part may be cut off depending on what the user's resolution is for their screen. For this actual strip, we can change the background really easily. We can choose from the backgrounds that come with Wix. We can add our own image. We can add a color. Let me show you guys how to really quickly upload an image right here. So we'll click that. Wix has a ton of stock photos that you guys can use, which is really great. But I'm gonna come here to upload media. We'll open up our finder. I'm actually gonna drag all these different things in here and that's going to upload each of these things. Now I do recommend using a tool like Tiny PNG to actually reduce the size of your images. As you guys can see, these are all about three to four megabytes. That's a bit big. We can definitely reduce the size so that our site is going to load faster. But yeah, essentially what we can do is we can choose one of these and we can basically change the background to that image. Now, none of these images are going to look good on that header, so I'm gonna leave that as is. I'm actually gonna delete this section since I don't think it looks good. We'll click on these three dots right here and click delete. So I think that looks a little bit better. It looks more clean. If you guys ever want to add a section, it's very easy. You'll click this. You'll be able to choose from all the different section templates over here. So let's say you wanna include a testimonial. Let's say you wanna show your best sellers. You can always drag this over here and that's going to place it into our website. But yeah, for now I'm gonna delete that since I like how this template looks. And we're just gonna keep this like this. You guys can see there's also an Instagram section right here. So you guys can connect your Instagram page. Basically we'll click on 
this, we'll go to settings. We'll be able to connect our business account or our personal account. We can change the way, you know, this whole thing looks. And yeah, just play around with this, you guys. It's very, very customizable. And if you guys don't want to share your Instagram, of course, we can easily remove this section, but I'll leave that here for now. In terms of your collection right here, this is going to be where you actually see the products of your store. So this template came with pre-populated products. So that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna have to import a lot of different products. And what you guys can do is click on this and then click manage products. So here you guys can see, these are the 16 products that are within our store right now. And what you're gonna want to do is of course delete these, but I actually recommend keeping a couple of them because it can act as a good demo or like something that you guys can sort of copy for the products that you add. Here you guys can come and actually import multiple products to your store at once. But what I'm gonna show you guys how to do is come here to new product, add new product. It's gonna say, are we adding a physical product or is it gonna be a digital file? So let's say we're doing a physical product. Here we'll be able to add images. So I'll select from the images that I had earlier. We can select multiple by doing shift click. I'll click add to page. Here you're gonna choose a name for your product. So we'll say the basic shirt. We can say new arrival on sale, stuff like that. I'm gonna leave that blank for now. Here's where we're gonna create a description. I do recommend doing a bullet point. You wanna be as descriptive as possible and really sell the clothes. This isn't a copywriting course, so I won't go into how you guys can create a good description, but make sure that is definitely good. Here we'll select a price. So let's say $20. We can check this if we wanna say it's on sale. So we can put a percent discount, let's say 10%. That means the final sale price will be $18. Here you can actually put in the cost of goods if you want to be able to calculate the profit margin. This is all on the back end, so it's just for you to see what your profits are. So I'm just gonna leave that blank. Here you can add your product options, right? So likely if you're selling clothes, you'll have different sizes, you'll have different colors. So I'll show you quickly how to do that. Plus add options, we'll do size, we'll select. So it's pre-populated, small, large, medium. Okay, good. We can add another option. So we can do color, right? Color, let's say blue, white, add. So now we're gonna have our different variants of each item. We can also change the pricing for different sizes and different colors if you want, but we'll keep that all the same for now. You guys will see these are all the variants. So we have two and two, so that's four. We can add this to a collection. So let's say this is going into our new arrivals. We can always create a new category as well, but let's click new arrivals. Here you can change the SEO settings. This is all optional. And then what we'll do is click save. Cool, so now we've added a product to our store and you guys can see it right here. All right, so now I'm gonna close out of this. Coming back to our homepage, what we can do is actually choose category. So right now, as you can see, we are showing the special edition category. We can also choose to show new arrivals instead. And of course, the image that we just put is going to show up there. Of course, it doesn't really match the other images. So I do recommend, you know, making sure all your images are the same ratio and same size. If you guys come here and click settings, we can come here, we can show what we want to actually list. So we can move the product name, the price, the ribbon. It's a bunch of stuff. I recommend just looking through this. I'm not gonna go over this completely. But yeah, we can change the sizing, you guys. We can change the spacing, the text, the design, all this stuff. So I think this looks pretty good. Another thing I wanna show you guys quickly is here, the pages and menu button. What we can basically do here is change the order of what we see on the menu. We can hide and remove pages. We can add pages. So if I click on that, we can create a new page. Let's say we want to do like an about page. So we can click on this. It's going to add this page. We can rename it right here. So we can say about the team, done. Let's move this down here maybe. And then if we want to edit the site or this page, we can come here, of course, change up all the text, add different sections if we want, change up these images and all that stuff. But yeah, the thing with making a website is that you're going to be tempted to really try and customize the website. I recommend not trying to customize it too much. Don't try to make it perfect, okay? These templates are professionally designed. They are designed to look good on both desktop as well as mobile. So if you mess it up too much, it might change how it looks. And also don't spend too much of your time trying to customize your website. Rather, focus on the actual marketing of your company and of your brand. Because as a business owner, there's a lot of more important things that you guys should be doing. It's important to make sure you guys see what your website looks like on mobile because probably half of your traffic will be from mobile at least. So if you wanna come up here, click switch to mobile, that's gonna show you what the page looks like. And if we don't change the design too much, it should look really good. So I can scroll through here. We can make changes on the mobile view only, which is pretty cool. And yeah, this looks really great. And yeah, once your website looks like it's good, you guys can either preview it or you can click publish right here. So now the next thing we're gonna do is come here to my business. And there's definitely some things you guys need to do before you can start selling. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is define 
define our shipping regions. So we're gonna set up shipping by clicking on that. You guys can use their interactive guide, but I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it really quickly. I'm in the United States, so basically we have domestic shipping to the US. I recommend just doing free shipping to make it easier, but if you want to edit any of these, you guys can click edit. We can add destinations right here. We can select how the shipping is calculated. So of course, if we're doing free shipping, we'll select that. You guys can also calculate by weight, flat rate, other stuff. So it's really up to you guys. We can put our estimated delivery time if you want. And since it's free, it's gonna be set at zero. You can also add other delivery options like local delivery or pickup. But for most stores, I think you're only going to have this. So we'll click save. If you do wanna ship internationally, you guys can also play around with that. This one should definitely cost money. So definitely don't recommend doing free shipping for international shipping. You might be losing money on some orders. Okay, and then the next thing we need to do is add a payment method. So we'll come up here, click add payment method. Now I'm in the US, so this will be set as the US, but choose accordingly. And you'll want to connect a few different payment options. Now I do recommend going with the default one. You can also allow PayPal. And what I'm gonna do is click connect. You'll want to confirm that you're not selling any of these things. We'll click no, I do not. Click accept and continue. We'll be able to select credit slash debit cards, Apple Pay. Those are generally what you guys will be using as well. Click continue. And then yeah, to actually accept payments on your website, you will need to upgrade your site. I'll let you guys know that there are no good free e-commerce online store platforms. And Wix is by far one of the cheapest. It's one of the easiest to make a really good looking site. And I think it's honestly one of the best tools for beginners to create an online store. So we'll click upgrade right here. Sometimes they do run sales, but any of these plans should work well for you guys. If you're just starting out, even the light plan should work. Most people are gonna choose the core or business plans. And you'll wanna see what each of these plans comes with just to make sure that it has the functionality that you need. They all come with a free domain for one year, which is 100% necessary for your business. But if you do want to actually sell things on your website and collect payments, you're going to need at minimum the core plan because this is going to accept payments and give you e-commerce functionality. So for this video, I'll just click the core plan. We'll click select. We can choose our billing cycle right here. So you guys can pay monthly, yearly, two years, every three years. So for this video, I'll do the yearly plan. We'll click continue to check out and here I'm going to enter in my payment information and then once this is all done we'll click submit purchase so after that you'll be able to actually claim your free domain name so of course you'll want a domain that matches your company name let's see if that's available awesome and click get it we'll select one year just so that it is completely free and then click continue you'll enter in your contact information right here and then click continue we can choose to either do a private registration or public I'll just select this for now and click continue and then you'll click submit purchase now once you're done with the design of your website we'll be able to click publish and that's going to make our website available for anyone to actually go to and purchase from. Now we're going to go back to my dashboard over here and I'll show you guys some of the tools here that are super important. So first we'll come to automations. I definitely recommend learning this because if you have customers come to your website, they put something in your cart and they actually don't end up buying it, you're definitely going to want to have automations set in place because that will drastically increase your conversion rates. So this comes automatically with Wix, which of course is really cool. But what we're going to do is we're going to come here and click plus new automation. You guys can select from the different automations that are already sort of created. I recommend looking through these as these are very, very helpful for getting your conversion rates up. You also want to come here to marketing and SEO because this is an important part of your website. Go through these things right here, set this up. I also set up a Google business profile and you guys can see all the different marketing tools that come with Wix. We can also do Facebook and Instagram ads. And yeah, you guys can see there's so much functionality with Wix as an online store platform. Next, we'll come here to settings. And what you're going to want to do is go through all of these settings to make sure that everything looks okay. So we'll come here to e-commerce settings to show you guys. We can set minimum orders. We can select and edit different checkout policies, which is important. We can create our own custom policies as well. Yeah, basically go through all this stuff, select as needed, and repeat the same for all of these different things. Some of these things we've already done, for example, shipping and fulfillment. So if you guys come back here, this is something very important, the tax part. If you guys are selling physical products, then you will likely need to collect sales tax. And so you'll definitely want to have this right because the last thing you want to do is collect sales tax, but not actually give it to the state or county or whatever it is. But yeah, that's basically it, you guys. That is how you create an online store using Wix. As you guys can see, you can create a really good looking website in under 30 minutes. And yeah, overall, I'm just a really big fan of Wix as a platform for doing your e-commerce on. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Feel free to watch it again and follow along as I build my website. You guys can build your website alongside this video. It makes it really easy. And yeah, the link to Wix is going to be down below. If you guys do use that link, it will 
help support the channel. It's really what allows us to be able to create free content like this for you guys, and there's no extra cost to you. So thank you so much in advance. If you guys got some value from this video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated to giving you guys free guides and tutorials, helping you to start your business. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.